Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to Relationship Talk with Sharonda. And this is one of those question and answer videos today. This one is not product based or anything like that. So I will be answering a question and I will be diving into a topic that I think is much needed because when I posted this question on my Facebook page, what I realized was a lot of women said that they have been in this woman's situation where they made decisions based on what people told them that they should do. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. Um, she starts off by saying, how can I go back to my husband? I divorced my husband out of a group influence last year. I started working as a nurse. My friends told me that I could do better without a man. So I got motivation from my friends and I left my husband. As I'm talking, two of my friends who advised me to leave my marriage they recently got married. I feel lonely and I can't find another man. So far, I have dated five men and they just sleep with me and go on about their business. These men, despite dating me, they never respected me owning to the fact that I'm not that attractive. Okay, so she basically saying she ain't all that cute. She says she's in her 30s. One of my boyfriends got married to a younger girl and that recently left me heartbroken. I'm tired. I need to be in my house with my loving husband. My actions was out of immaturity and the wrong advice given from friends. I have now realized my mistake. How can I convince my ex-husband to allow me back into his life? How can I persuade him? Please advise me. So... I was just like, Ooh. because I'm one of them people, y'all. Let me just say this here, I and mean, I can close this up for real. I, I'm just one of them people. If me and you together, and other people could come and tell you anything about me, we not gonna do well together. We not gonna do well together at all. And I'm talking about, I don't care who it is. I'm not saying that people, um won't have an opinion but this is just how i operate and i'm so bold about the the way i move in life and i'm so vocal people that really 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 know me know that one thing about it see when i'm with a man and i made my choice on that man i'm with that man and it ain't nothing nobody gonna be able to come and tell me about the man that i chose to be with y'all i was sitting down at chimes and I was invited by a friend. And this friend invited somebody else to chimes. And the person that she invited so happened to be a, a prophetess. This is, I kid you not. This, this is a real life story to have. And this prophetess who, and even if she did know me, but she didn't know me. Meaning that she didn't know how I would respond to what she thought she was about to do. So she thought that she was about to prophesy to me about the man that I was with. And before she even got started, I said, eh, eh. She was like, huh? I was like, eh, eh. She was like, huh? I say, God ain't sent you to me. She was like, what you mean? I say, because the God that I serve know me so well, he know not to send you to me to try to tell me nothing about my man because I ain't going to receive it from you. Me and him tight. Anything that he want me to know, he gonna make sure that I know. Anything that he want me to see, he gonna make sure that I see it. But what he ain't gonna do is send you. She was like, I say, baby, I will spit in your face. See, people that know me and they know how I feel about a man that I'm with, they know they can't come to me with no anything. You can keep all your evidence, your checks and balances and your receipts. You look at that shit. But what you're not going to do is feel, you're not going to ever feel comfortable enough to come in my face and tell me nothing about somebody that I didn't pick for my life. Because see, what I understand is when I pick somebody, I pick them for my happiness. I pick them because I felt like they was going to be a good suitor for me. See, what happens is y'all allow people to come into y'all life and y'all allow them to have an opinion 
about the person that you done chose to be with. And the thing is, they ain't got to be with the person. So my thing is, your opinion ain't welcomed over here. It ain't going to never be welcomed over here. And I suggest you keep it to yourself. Even my family and friends know, you can't tell her nothing when it come down to no man. And you can't because guess what? Y'all ain't got to lay with him. You ain't got to be with him and you ain't got to do life with him. Just like um, the Chris, uh, Chris Jenner. Yeah, that's her name. Yeah, Chris Jenner and the guy Corey that she with. And the whole world got something to say about Chris and Corey. Because there's a 26-year age difference or whatever. He's in his 40s. She's 68 or something like that. She makes more money than him. He, he a manager and he make money, but he ain't got that Kardashian type of money, right? And the one thing that I love about her is she'll, she'll let nobody make her feel no type of way about the man that she didn't chose to be with. She didn't pick a younger black man at that to be with. And the thing is, what she understands is most men that she meet ain't going to have Kardashian type of money. And her thing is, she didn't been with a man that had money before, but she wasn't necessarily happy in that. This time around, it wasn't about the money, but it was about her happiness. And see, when, when people understand that, that it ain't always about the money, that sometimes it's really about your happiness. It's really about having somebody that can vibe the way you vibe, who into the shit that you into, who understands you and allows you, allows you to be you. That's that's better than money any day. I constantly tell my man, just thank you for being a safe space for me. Thank you for just being a place of rest. Just your voice in itself soothes me. It's the small things like that that you can't put a price on. So when people be like, what made you select this particular man to be your man? This man, he a big man, but guess what? He gentle. I, I don't think I have ever in almost two years of knowing him have ever heard him raise his voice. And if he did, I wasn't in the room. And I ain't going to tell you that we ain't had disagreements. But what I'm going to tell you is he has always remained calm. He's never been ugly or nasty to me or said things that he would have possibly regretted. Or I've said things that I would have possibly regretted. Like, I don't want nobody that's handling me like I'm some kind of nigga off the streets or some shit like that on Mad Day. Or on a day that, that we got some other stuff going on. See, it's, it's certain things that people don't understand. I done been with somebody that did 100% before. And guess what? And I'm not saying that I have an issue with following a person's lead because I've never had an issue with that. But I also feel like even though you, you're leading... The people in your household should still be heard. And see, the thing is, a lot of times what people don't tell you is when you're with these people that's doing 100%, they're not even heard in that household. They're not even heard. You know what? That's for another day. Ma'am, how you get your husband back? Baby, look, all I'm going to tell you is go get you some healing. Go get you some therapy. Go get you some help, okay? Because, and, and grow up. Grow all the way up. Because what I do believe is that ship has sailed. Because if I was him, I wouldn't have no, I, I, mm -mm. Because the voice is not pretty. The voice is hurtful. The voice is rejection. The voice is expensive. And you put somebody through all of that because of what people had to say about him. This man hadn't even done you nothing. He hadn't even done anything. And you got rid of him because of what your homegirls had to say. And now you're talking about, I want a do-over. Girl, go get a do-over with somebody else and leave that man alone. And let that man go, go on head on with his life and be happy with somebody who, who got some damn sense. Because I, I just felt like I wasn't even reading nothing. You said you was in your 30s. I, I was like, what kind of adult this is? But from time to time, we are foolish and we make foolish mistakes. And guess what? Mistakes have consequences. 
And the consequence is you lost out on a great man. And nine out of 10, you probably won't ever run into another great man like that again. Because I'm going to tell you something. Sometimes you'll get one, but it's very seldom that you get to do it two times. It's very seldom that you that God blesses you twice with something really good. Because see, it's a, it's a thing. It's something, sometimes you got people that you can be content with, that you can work with. But it's another thing when you got somebody that's really, really, really good. And what you had probably was really, really good. And you let people tell you that he wasn't good enough for you. And because you became a goddamn nurse, all of a sudden you was better. Y'all are so foolish. Foolish. You know what? That's going to wrap me up. That's going to wrap me up. You all have a wonderful weekend. Um, Y'all have fun. Guess what? We having our fucking family reunion this weekend. Um, Me and daddy going to the museum. I got a whole... Look, my weekend is like literally jam-packed. I got all kinds of stuff going on. And I'm super excited about it too. I'm excited about it all. Y'all know Auntie love to be outside. I love to be outside going somewhere, doing something, looking cute. I don't let nobody make me feel no type of way about it either because people get on there and put statuses up about, oh, I don't be wanting to be outside. I want to be this. That's because y'all do outside different than I do outside. When I say outside, I ain't talking about going to the local club at, at the corner of the street to drink a, a, a fucking drink special. That ain't what I'm talking about when I'm saying I like to go outside. What I'm saying is when I like to go outside, I like to put on clothes. I like for me and my man to be together. I like for us to vibe. And I like for us to have a planned activity to where we're going outside. Or I like to have a planned trip somewhere to where we're going outside. That's what I call going outside. I ain't talking about that bullshit y'all be doing. Not at all. Because if that's all I had to do, I probably wouldn't want to go outside either. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Be blessed. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Like, share, and subscribe.